Hello everyone, welcome to Luxury Properties, our YouTube channel. Today we bring to you a very beautiful villa gated community. This is off Sarjapur Road, it falls off the Sarjapur Road stretch. Uh, from it, it falls on the Muttanalur cross to Chandapura main road, it is just off it. It is a six acres gated community which is spread with uh, around uh, six acres and has about 75 units. The unit that you see on your screen is a contemporary elevate, elevation, modern housing. This unit is G plus 2 structure with a super built up area of about 3028 square feet and you get a UDS of about 2250 square feet. It's got two car parkings on the left before you enter. It's got stone pavers right at the entrance and that is where your car parkings would be. You would have two car parkings. And on your main screens right now is the main door. You got to take two steps to the main door with a little bit of a garden patch at the at the entrance. The landscape is about 18 feet by six feet. The landscape area on the in the front patch. Three slit windows, which accentuates the beauty of the elevation. WPC for the ceiling at the entrance gives it a nice warm cozy feeling and now we take three steps and we head on to the living area the living area is spread over 14 feet 3 inches by 16 feet 4 inches the living area is defined and is separate from other spaces like the living and the dining walking into the living We turn around. That's the living area. That's the living area from the other end. That's the main door where we entered in from. Living area, as I mentioned, is 14 feet 3 inches by 16 feet 4 inches. Connected to the dining area. That's the dining area which is again defined and separate from the living area but is seamlessly connected with the kitchen it's an open kitchen the kitchen is about 11 feet 4 inches by 11 feet 6 inches that's a fully done up kitchen to give you a sense of how a fully done up kitchen would look like the kitchen opens out an outdoor utility space this utility space is spread over 8 feet 4 inches by 6 feet so that's quite a decent space you could do a bit of a kitchen gardening here and then you can use it for your utility as well so heading back into the kitchen that's a completely done up kitchen that's your chimney and your hob you have a double door fridge here you have a breakfast counter on one end of the kitchen and that's your dining the spaces in this living area and the dining and the kitchen is quite neatly segregated and defined well defined the the dining area also has a French window which opens out to the backyard. The one you, you see behind that curtains is a French window, a sliding door. That's the sliding door. So all in all this was a, a quick view of the ground floor of the G plus 2 structure. They have a little, they've done a little gardening below the stairs there. Little bit of a green foliage there and then take two steps down and enter into the powder room. 
This is at a different level. The flooring all across is marble flooring. And what you see as a part of ceiling and all, just this is a mock up to give you a sense. But when you get it from the builder, you don't get it with the ceiling and the lights. You get fixtures, you get the provisions, but you don't get the lights. So we're taking the stairs, all marble stairs, to the first floor. A window, which will get some light onto the staircase, natural light. And now we are on the first floor of this G plus 2 structure. This first floor has got two bedrooms right there and there, adjacent to each other. And there is a lobby or a private living area. That's a nice little private li uh, living area on the first floor. Quite decent in size, 4 feet 7 inches by 6 feet. Wooden laminate flooring and it opens out to a balcony. They've given these wall claddings in the elevation and this brick like elevation it adds to the beauty of the elevation and it adds some amount of character and design so that's the living area on the first floor and now we head on to a first bedroom of the house which is on the first floor so there we go we're in the first bedroom the be this bedroom is about 15 feet by 11 feet 4 inches and also has an access to the balcony which overlooks the front portion of the property that brick like work which gives it a nice warm feeling to the elevation and adds a little bit of character sliding doors sliding doors with wooden finish these are UPVC wooden finish doors wooden laminate flooring this room comes with an attached toilet that's where you can have your wardrobe which will actually be a part of the interiors this is just to give you an idea of how the entirely fully furnished house would look like the spacings that's the toilet 5 feet by 9 feet completely tiled cooler fittings Out of the bedroom number one into the bedroom number two. Still on the first floor. That's bedroom number two. This bedroom size is about 10 feet, 4 inches by 16 feet. That's a huge, decent sized window. They've made a bay window there. It's a nice little concept for those who want to sit on the window, enjoy a cup of tea, peeping outside the house, looking into the nature. This comes with an attached toilet. And above, 5 feet by 9, by nine feet, fully tiled up, color fittings. Vanity. And a view before we head out of the bedroom number 2, a quick view again. This does not have a walk-in wardrobe closet. Now heading onto the second floor. Decent window on the landing of the staircase.
So now we are on to the second floor. The second floor has a study right there, which is about 14 feet 5 inches by 6 feet. Could be used as a study or a home office, whatever suits your need. And then we enter into bedroom number 3. This bedroom is about 15 feet by 11 feet 4 inches. It's the master bedroom. That's a huge window there. Behind the curtains, a, ba a base heating. With a walk-in closet, which is about 5 feet by 11 feet 6 inches for the master bedroom. Wooden laminate flooring for the master bedroom. As is the case for the other two bedrooms as well. Master toilet, which is about 5 feet by 11 feet 6 inches. Vanity mirror. Fittings are all of polo. So that is a quick view of the master bed. And we head out of the master bed and we land onto the terrace. There it is, the terrace. The terrace is, gets us, me quite excited. I find these places very interesting. The terrace is quite decent size, which is about 25 feet, 6 inches by 10 feet. There's a bar counter there. So you, if you are someone who's into socializing and would want to have a bar at home, so you have a quite little space that you can make a cozy little bar for yourselves. And that's a seating, a terrace seating. And over this second floor, there is a seating on the top of the second floor. This is a half terrace on the second floor and we are going through a spiral staircase to the terrace of the second floor. So there you go. So we are on the terrace of the second floor where they have put some nice little plants to add some green foliage to add some life to the terrace a kind of a podium and they've made a pergola in steel a nice little sitting area where you can sit in the evenings and enjoy your coffees teas get togethers and enjoy the view that this place has to offer what do you think about this view would you want a house in this kind of a setting as i mentioned to you in the beginning of the video that this is an under construction property it is going to be delivered by the year 2025 Timeline for delivery is 2025 December. There are 75 units. The plot sizes approximately would come around 1300. They are not plot sizes because this is a UDS concept wherein you get an undivided share of land. Wherein you get an undivided share of land. So if you think this is a property of the Sarjapur Road stretch, it does not fall on the Sarjapur Road, it falls off the stretch. I'm giving that to you for reference. It will be closer to the Muthanalur cross and towards the Chandapura road. So any one of you who are looking for properties at this stretch, contact on the given numbers below. And if you've liked the video, please share it with your friends and family. Thank you. Have a great day.